reinforce previous bleeding control measures. Does that make sense? Yep. Axilla bleeds, okay. And this group, and, okay. I haven't taught any other group this auxilla stuff, but I think it's vitally important. Okay. In here is a nice soft jelly pad. Hard. Just release the pressure slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, so this is called your radial pulse. Say it with me. Radial, radial pulse. pulse. Find your elbow. Right, you can feel that hard elbow. I then want you to move your fingers up towards the middle just a little bit. Is being held in this location because the patient is sick. Your two fingers in your thumb, two fingers in your thumb. I want you to feel for that Adam's apple, right? That Adam's apple. You just to let go of that pressure, keep your fingers there, and put your fingers down slightly either side, all right? Good, bit of a weak one, but that's okay. Good, can you feel that? Seconds. Every time we feel a beat in our fingers, we count. Normal heart rate, 60 to 100. Below 60. Alright. Good. If we're missing the radial pulse, where do we go to next? This corpsman only has a carotid pulse. Who needs to go to the hospital first? This man. Okay. I'm going to take you through how to manage auxilla or armpit bleeds. A blast erupting up from the ground and fragmentation getting embedded in here. Maybe you compress the wound? Yeah, compress. What else? What can I do to this patient's position? I grab out my gauze. Are you okay, buddy? You okay? I'm sorry if this is uncomfortable, but this is going to save your life. Okay? We move our hand, make sure that there's no blood, keep that pressure on. Let's say my patient's conscious, I can ask my patient to help. Wait, one. And this might happen real time, guys. Alright. Okay, come around the back. We achieve this. We come around, and then we secure it off. Okay? We've got some nice, good figure eights going on here. So let's say all that's in. Now. Multiple planes of pressure. This is how we achieve it. Okay. What happens if I let this go? What do you think is going to happen? When I straighten his leg out, that's going to be our third plane of pressure. When I say multiple planes of pressure, all we've used is one bandage, but with that one bandage, we've achieved multiple things. 